Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Ford Ferrari and uh, the painting of the Mazda. So again, we are here. Phil's here. Morning. We've got uh, all the panels that we need just into primer here. So we're all going to be working on these today. So yeah, day two begins today. And uh, what's the, what's, what, what are we planning on getting today, Phil? So what do we need? What? Right, I want to paint all the doors first. Yeah. So we'll get all four in, and then I want to do the bonnet and the boot. I'm going to leave the bumpers till last because uh, we're a little bit short on paint, and I yeah. I'm going to have to, might have to use a different manufacturer of paint, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, doors first, and then just whatever we can get in the oven. Fantastic! So keep watching, enjoy, and here we go. Day two. So, beginning of day two uh, to painting the Mazda. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just we've managed to get the car just outside. So, I'm going to take it out there. Hopefully, the sun sort of hits on it so you guys can see the full effect of the purple. Um, keep forgetting to look over here with the lens over here. So, I'm talking to you guys. So, yeah, I'm going to just take you outside now and give you a quick walk around the car in the sun. So, let's do that. There we are. So let's have a look at the purple car, shall we? And here she is, all still stripped and bare. Look at that. It does actually pick up a little bit blue in the camera, but I can tell you, standing next to this, this is definitely purple. Uh, it's got that dark Cadbury type pur purple to it. But it's, it's the finish that, I mean, like inside the boot and stuff like that, that's, that's what's gonna make it stand out. And you agree, Phil, it's... Uh, door shuts you know nothing worse than opening the door to a resprayed car and seeing that the door shuts have been done so yeah this is a, a full full respray apart from inside the engine bay but I think that could be a project for another day um, yeah so loving this loving this and there is there's like finite crystals in it that you can't see in the camera today without the sun being fully out but yeah I think it's gonna really really show up in the sun so very happy 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 Right, so I hope you guys can hear me, we've got the compressor on in the background, so just wanted to give you a quick little recap. I'm here working on the silver door that we got, and um, like we said before, this is from my old car, so I'm going to throw a few pictures into the video just now of my old car and just see. So I'm so, I'm so glad to have this as part of Phil's car, just a, a, you know, a little bit of my old car involved, so yeah, quite chill. So I'm getting this ready now, and we'll be spraying it soon, so keep watching.
Okay, so we're at another exciting part of the uh, the paint process. So these are the doors going in. So we doing, Phil? You just finishing up masking, yeah, aren't you? Finishing the masking on them. Yeah. So this is how Phil has decided to do it. So he's going to do the doors all in one hit. And there's my old door. I keep saying it. I know, but uh, yeah. So we're just finishing up masking in here, and then so the paint problem we had was you don't feel there was enough, right? Well, yeah, it's very risky. I'm running low. Yeah, so so we managed to get some more, right? Yeah, so basically what I had to do is we use PPG water-based paint. Yeah. But our local supplier doesn't do that. So I've had to buy what's called Mobihel, and it's solvent paint, which I don't like using, but needs must. Yeah. So what I'm going to try and do is do all the inner panels, so like the inside of the bonnet, that's going to be done with solvent. Yeah. Uh, the door handles, just all the little bits and pieces. Yeah, the stuff that doesn't really, yeah. you're not going to see if it's a di slight different yeah, colour match. Different, yeah, know. so you're just going to spray the inside of the bonnet. So that looks good when we open it up and show show off the engine. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got the doors. So yeah, it's getting there. We're cracking on. I've got some repairs to make on a bumper out there. Um, we did think the bumper was going to be a better shape than it was. So we've gone back to the old damaged bumper just around out of shot over here so I'm going to go now and repair this bumper so yeah wish me luck and I'll leave Phil to it so yeah. good luck Phil have fun well <laughs> thing about doing these videos is that we get to pig out isn't that right Phil proper. we've got pepperonis some garlic bread some wedges proper meal proper meal thanks Phil no worries So Phil, how has the uh, the doors come out then? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, they're looking good, mate. Yeah, what I can see. Good. Yeah. Now, in case you lot are wondering, which one was my door? Is that one over there? And yeah, I'm pretty proud of this. I just said to Phil, I had to re-sculpt this line because there was a dink in it, and uh, yeah, with what three layers of filler, I almost had to make that line myself. And uh, yeah, I'm proud of that. That line came out spot on, so mate, I'm loving this colour. I really am. Oh, it's a way it sort of reflects the light, and oh, yeah, can't wait for this. This is going to be awesome once it's on. Great job again by Phil. Yeah. Looking good, mate. Yeah. I'm happy. Yes. Oh, I don't look like it, but I'm happy. <laughs> but the thing is, I mean, this is what I was just saying to Phil just now off camera, is just these door shuts like you know just having the paint inside the door from a color change I think it's gonna make a hell of a difference you know most people do a spray job and you know the the amount of work that's involved in doing inside the door shuts just sometimes isn't worth it but we went the extra mile on this and decided nope we're gonna do it so yeah we are actually pleased this is gonna be brilliant and again if you guys want to come down to the far show, we're, we're taking it down there, uh, Santa Pod. So come down and come and see it for yourself. You know, we're not hiding behind the camera. Come and scrutinise it. I reckon we'll pass scrutiny, don't you, Phil? I think so. Yeah. So, brilliant.
Okay, so this is a wrap for day two now. Um, Phil's knocked it out of the park again. We've got the bonnet, boot, everything like that. It's all done. I mean, I'll give you a quick little walk around. I mean, we were just saying, just look at that. Look at that, the bonnet. Look at that. It's like glass. There it is. And, um, yeah, it's, it's tiring. It's tiring work. But Phil and I, we, we both admit we're like, actually... We're worn <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah. Time to go home and rest. It is the Easter weekend, so can't have you lot all sitting around and uh, us working the whole time. So we're going to go home tonight, um, make it nice and early in the morning, get up early-ish and uh, get back in and crack on. But the majority of the work's done now. So now it's just, we've got what, the two bumpers to do tomorrow and um, all the little trimmy bits, isn't it? Yeah. And then we've got that and then it's all starting to fit it all back together so yeah it's uh getting there progress has happened so brilliant thanks for watching today's episode and uh see you again tomorrow cheers bye